it's really unfair. It really is. And um, I feel sorry a little bit for Coach Abradovich. Uh, I've uh, read his comments after the game where he said, if I'm the problem, I can step down immediately. Nobody thinks probably that Jelko Bradovic is to blame for this. It could happen to anybody in this format. It just happened to be partisan. But at the same time, what you mentioned, how they didn't manage to close the game, maybe once again reminded everybody that uh, this is an inexperienced team. They actually have just a few veteran players, but this is quite a young team. And I'm pretty sure that with more experienced players on the court, uh, Jelko would have closed the game. They, they would advance. But it is what it is right now. They're obviously going to focus on the ABBA League uh, and their big rivalry with uh, Zvezda. We'll see how that goes. But Euro Cup is a failure uh, because they were one of the big favorites, obviously. Yeah, thank God that probably they will get the yearly wild card because of the Russian team situation. Because in a normal situation, we have Monaco advancing to the playoffs, which means that only the Euro Cup champions uh, go straight to the Euro League. And then, in that case, there was only a way for Partizan to make the Euro League by winning Abba League. And by far, they weren't as good as uh, Cervena Zvezda in my eyes. And with like month and month and a half to go, I don't believe that uh, Jelko would make this team the U uh, Abba League champions team uh, from what we see this, this year. And th there are two things. Uh, uh, yeah, I kind of feel bad for Partizan, uh, but at the same time, I think that they, I, I cannot say they didn't deserve to win the Euro Cup, but at the same time, I, I just think that, you know, their season was going this way that they're going to fail to win the Euro Cup. Uh, what I want to say that uh, did, their game didn't convince me this year at all. Uh, they were far worse team than Zvezda, if we compare, you know, Partizan to the EuroLeague club. In the Euro Cup, they were not consistent. They were uh, losing games in Panevegis against Letkabilis by a big margin. And uh, as I mentioned, there were some problems for Jelko to, you know, by building this roster, by building the game, there was too much of a gap between import players and Balkan players. I would say that mix of stars or let's say proven EuroLeague players and these young guns didn't uh, work quite well. And at the same time, as I was repeating all season long, they were prob they had problems with floor general and the, in the decisive moments of the game where we need some, you know, uh, cold heads uh, in the decisive moments. We saw Avramovic doing crazy things. We saw Yamadar uh, making this offensive foul. And, uh, you know, it all started from here. Uh, I mean, I just think that, you know, it, it's kind of unfair, but at the same time, rules were equal for everybody. And the most important thing is that Partizan, you know, they didn't have any injuries which could have impacted this game. They didn't have any COVID outbreak. I mean, they had all the roster set, so that was their job to prove on the court that they were a better team. And uh, they failed a lot. <laughs>